He had a good year. The Packers had another good year. They've won 26 games in the regular season the last two years. And now this guy, Jamal Williams, 25 years old, is about to hit free agency. Jamal, how are you, man? Welcome to NFL Now. What's happening, Sir Flapperton? You good, man? <laughs> Dude, it's good to see you. It's good to have you on. Tell me what. Tell me how you're feeling. You're home in Utah. You're not in Green Bay. Right, you, you went home, and, and now this is like this brave new world of free agency. Right, Jamal, March seventeenth, actually a couple of days before that, you can start talking to other teams. Sure. Well, first, I'm from Cali. I came, I came to Utah, you know, come visit my daughter and everything, see my family, my other family, and gotcha. all. I'm from, cool. I'm from Cali. Yeah, I'm a Cali boy forever. Yeah, but I love. I'm thinking about free agency, but. I really love to just be a, a Packer all my life if I could. You know what I mean? They gave me my first shot. Um, I love Green Bay. It's just a, a great place to be. But, you know, things happen. If, if things don't happen, then I'm just ready to take my shot into the free agency and show my skills to any team that's willing to take that chance on me because I'm just ready to go, man. I'm just ready to play, have fun, be myself. You know, just bring that spark to any team that's willing to give me that shot. And I think a lot of teams look at you, Jamal, and say, hey, you don't have as many carries because you've been sharing the workload with Aaron Jones. So maybe you could be the guy where they say, mm -hmm. you know what? He hasn't been hit as much, right? He hasn't played as much. Let's get him in here and be our number one guy. But the thing is, Aaron, Aaron mm -hmm. Jones, is also a free agent. You guys came mm -hmm. in together, same draft class, you hit free agency together as well. Jamal, is there any chance you're both back in Green Bay? Can, can that math work? Shoot. I, I'm not sure. I hope it does. But if it, it doesn't, I always wish my boy the best. That's my boy for a life. We've been together for since we started our career. And it's nothing but a brotherhood. It's nothing but us just having fun and wanting the best for each other. I mean, I love him. He loved me. And we know we got each other's back forever. And we know we came in this together and we learned from each other by just our grit, just how we came into play, just how every time we go into off season, we're trying to make ourselves better for the team, you know? And so we so team orientated and we just want to do what's best for the team. And that's, I think that's why we connect so well. And I talk about the dance too. He didn't know how to dance before me. I got them all jiggy and everything. He loose. Everybody loose before. They was, I got them all jiggy now. Was he a... <laughs> Was he a bad dancer before you taught him? No, nah, no, nah, he was he was just shy. And so like we we I had to get him out of it to just get into that zone. Just we gotta have fun with it, bro. We just we doing this every day. We we going through this as a team, you know what I mean? So might as well have fun with it while we out there doing the things that we love to do, and that's play football and just have that brotherhood and that team chemistry together. Are, are you doing free agency as a team? Not suggesting you're going to the same place if you were to both leave. I mean, he might get tagged, too. But do you guys coordinate, like, text back uh, and forth uh, about no, what no, no, each no, of no. you is hearing? No, no, no. no. We, we just brothers, bro. I wish him the best, and we are going to make our own decisions. You know what I mean? So it's just us just having that respect for each other and just, you know, whoever, wherever we go, we just bless the, for each other and wishing the best for each other and just wanted us to do the best we can on whatever team we own. Hey, Jamal, let's not put the Packers in the rearview mirror yet. I want to go back to, obviously, the season you guys just had, which ended, as, as people know, the NFC Championship game with that loss to the Buccaneers, <laughs> and that afterwards mm -hmm. everyone hears Aaron Rodgers say that the future is a beautiful mystery. How did Ooh. you take that? Hey, AR-12 is a mysterious man. He's a great he, – you got to – He's up here. He's up that type of thing, you know. You just got to be with him. But 12 of my boy, I'm just grateful to be able to play with him and to come in to a, with a Hall of Famer uh, quarterback is just a blessing, really, and to be able to pick his brain and learn from him. And the things he showed me, just little here and there things to help my game out, to make me a better player, um, I take that to heart, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. So um, I, I, I will always love to play with Aaron Rodgers, always. But you don't think that was his way of saying quietly or subtly that he wants out, do you? No. No, I don't. That's my boy. <laughs> Whatever he do, I'm with, you know what I mean? 
So his decision is his decision. He's a man. Everybody's a man. And they make their own uh, decisions and choices. And for you to be just that friend and that good person to just respect their decision and be behind them and wish them the best. So whatever the decision is, you know, let it be. But at the end of the day, I, I love to play with Aaron Rodgers and be in the package. Whoever that would be, likely in Green Bay, Brian Gutekunst came afterwards and said, hey, there's no way we're getting rid of Aaron Rodgers, obviously trading him. We'd be idiots if we were to do that. All right, before we let you go, Jamal, um, someone just reminded me in a meeting, and I don't know if we have visual for this, that you're deathly afraid of bees or something like yeah. that. Hey, bro, in Green Bay, the bees, they mutated. They big. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see it because it's camouflage. It uses camouflage power. You can't see it right now, but I see it. And it was coming full dead on to come get me, bro. I don't like bees. Just, I had a bad experience when I was little. That's all. But they, they deadly. You got to watch it. Dude, I, I, I totally get it. Uh, actually, two days ago, I stepped on a bee. I was barefoot. And the bee stung the bottom of my hey, foot, and I was limping around for like three hours. So I'm I, surprised. I, I'm, I'm surprised you ain't got, every time you get stung by a bee, they ain't hit them jaws right there. <laughs> I think you at least been stung at least 10 times in your ears. You my boy, bro. I love you, man. Dude. I love you, baby. I love you. It's mutual. It's mutual. I'm a good sport. You're a good sport. Mm. So You can come at me anytime. uh, Good luck with free agency, my friend. Enjoy your time in Utah. And uh, come back. Come back March 17th when you have a new deal. Let's talk then. Cool? Most definitely. Appreciate it all. Have a great day. Got it. Blessings to everybody. Thank you, sir. You too. Jamal Williams of the Green Bay Packers, at least for a couple more weeks.